Hey everybody, here we go with part two of my Beetle room tour. I'm standing in my hallway, which was in part one, at the entrance to room number two. And here we go. So we start in the doorway and I have one of two Egypt Station promotional cardboard pieces that were sent to me by a viewer named Richard, which I thank again. The bigger one is actually downstairs, um, put away. We get up to a promotional poster for George's Brainwash. This is the back side. A <clears throat> Corgi toy flyer for, you'll see, my unplugged promotional poster, Sun Country. And then one of my rarest ones is this, which is not the poster from the album, but is the poster for the promotional poster for the album. Um, it's made on heavy cardstock. It's not the paper poster that came with the Four Seasons album. So that's that. I, that's one of my favorite pieces. Let me come around, and what I have here are the first six of the Corgi toys when they started coming out from the late 90s. They're all still in the boxes. And then I go behind my door and I have a Wings Over America promotional poster, a Hey Jude store poster from 60 or 1970, I should say. My Bad Boy promotional poster and we're going to come across the top here and you'll see a John Lennon collection, promo display, some John Lennon baby stuff, see the walls and bridges behind there, my John Lennon harmonica, which is actually was a pretty cool piece. Then we get into my first set of Remco dolls which are hard bodies. And you can see some rag dolls and I think that's a milk and honey poster behind it. Um, my Beatles punch out portrait, like paper doll book is sitting there. Beetle card boxes. That's two different 33 and a third counter displays. We have a um, pencil case, Ringo Starr, Stop and Smell the Roses bumper sticker. That is my phone in the box. Uh, promotional wannabe Santa Claus. When we was fab box set 45, you can see. Then we come down here to the next shelf. And it's my Zippo lighter collection with the promotional display. One of the lava lamps. That's a promotional display. That is stickers that were promotional from Apple Record Corp. Flowers in the Dirt CD collection promotional box. That's my Beatles neon light. Another lava lamp. Um, that's an All My Trials promotional display. An entire box of Beatles Chewbop Bubblegum that's never been opened. <clears throat> My 64 stamps. Back here I have all three of the Beetle Buddy things. The portraits, the big one, and the placemat. Along with the promotional piece with Pat Boone on it. And the order forms to get them. I have my cube from Apple with the envelope. It's never been folded. 
Ringo model kit, Beatles pen on the card, the third lava lamp, there's a press 45 display, that's a UK display, there's my Beatles hat box, call it what you want, that's my set of Remco soft body dolls. That's a Pipes of Peace UK display. Talcum powder. An original listen to this sticker promotional piece for Walls and Bridges. There's another lava lamp. That's number four. Cardboard stand up. Color box. That's an original. Puzzles. The Making of Help. It's a VHS. It's got some promotional stuff in it. Um, Real Love 45 display, Free as a Bird 45 display, that's the fifth lava lamp in that series. There's my Go Go Beatles bag. Um, those three boxes are the 1988-89 CD set, vinyl set, and cassette set. The CDs I used for years, the vinyl and the... Cassettes were never used. They're still all sealed. My original 64 hat. That's a McCartney got back blanket. Living in the material world promotional display for the book. George Harrison Christmas ornaments. That's a Japanese bag. Booty bag. These are the stickers for the gumball machine. The top two are the display stickers. The bottom two are stickers that came in the gumball machine. I have a No More Lonely Nights countertop display. My um, Beetle Bears. There's some 8-tracks. There's my gumball machine with my uh, red, black and black buttons, my blue tint red buttons, and the blue ones that I'm in the process of trying to get. I have five out of the nine. Um, the original blue flicker pins and rings. More eight tracks. A Pipes of Peace counter display that I put cardboard on and made an easel for it so I could stand it up course that's the tour book that's an extra texture promotional poster here's a little bit of a guitar string brush usb for liverpool eight all original guitar brooches change purse you get the idea there's my cloud nine um counter display red blue rock band Ringo's um, Ringo album poster. That's a Wingspan poster. That one there is one of my favorites. That's my Wings Wildlife promotional poster from 71, 72, whenever that came out. <clears throat> then I have all my wallets, all original 60s, all my 60s notebooks. There's my it's two more pencil cases. That is an illustrated lyrics puzzle from 1970, which has the solutions and the um, poster in it. Traveling Wilburys display. Wings back to the egg countertop display. That's a speed of sound promotional poster. Hollywood Bowl promotional poster. Stop and Smell the Roses, and that was a countertop display when McCartney came to Chicago. I have a pendant from the Cleveland, Ohio concert. Come down here. How about a Beatles Let It Be touch lamp? Um, I only have a couple of my shirts out. Those are the picture discs. Those are all Apple-related um, promotional materials. We have my cartoon clock, original ice cream wrappers, the other two picture discs. We come down here. 
and this is and i've never seen another one my ringo star sun country um display it has four shelves on it and um header cards okay i have four different header cards that fit in the top of the display i also have the Re ringo refund certificates that were on the bottles i have the um square ones the rectangular ones and I also have the reserve signs somewhere. Oh, there they are, right there, that go on tables. I'm gonna come across this way, and I've never shown this, but this is a Beatles original New Sound guitar. Um, I got this from my brother, and I was gonna show it and decided to do a repro video on it and never got to it because there are reproductions of this guitar, which I will do one. An original 64 Beatles sweatshirt. That's my Beatlefest shirt. Beatles on the beach, which I just recently went to. We come up here and this is a UK Wings Over America mobile. As you can see. <clears throat> And we come down here, and it's my one glass case I have in here. And you can see all kinds of stuff in here. That's Those three Remco dolls and that one are the, was the very first piece of memorabilia I ever got when I was a teenager. <clears throat> and I, I never had the instruments to them. But there's all kinds of stuff in this case. Ringo Christmas ornaments. The hair pomade pack from the 60s. There's my the newer Mega Beatles display. Um, cookie jar. Ben Sherman. Y'all submarine gym shoes. Uh, that's an original white album on cassette. Original swinger still on the package. We come down here. That's a promotional Red Rose Speedway Frisbee. There are counterfeits of those. Cookie jars, pillows, my chalkware Esco dolls, my train, my Lionel, the official Lionel trains and Hornby trains that I have are in there. Um, porcelain Sergeant Pepper dolls. Another pillow, cookie jars, promotional note cubes, music boxes, stuff like that. Then we come across the floor, and that's my original 64 calendar. Um, that's a Beatles CD player in that box. Then I got record. There's my styrofoam anniversary. Then I got record cases. Like this one has HMV boxes, Wilbury's box, uh, the 40th anniversary Imagine box, and Pierre McCartney box. Um, that box is all 20th anniversary picture discs. It's all of them, including um. Free as a Bird, Real Love, and Baby at You, which were not authorized. But I, I wanted them to, to keep the, the collection going. Then I have another box here that has all kinds of like extra posters. These are all cover slicks, promotional cover slicks. Um, my three Beatle tour books. That is the Rock and Roll Music Promotional Clothesline, Never Hung. My Flowers in the Dirt postcard pack, CD, and vinyl. Of course, that's the George Harrison Christmas ornaments that came out a couple years ago. Um, that is half my room. 
I'm going to cut this video here because it's almost at 15 minutes. I'm going to have to do a part three. But that is one half of this room. That's one wall here. And that's one wall here. I still have one wall and a closet and, and, and the floor to do. So with that, I'm going to end this video because like I said, it's at 15 minutes. We will catch you in part three. All right, peace out, everybody.